Don't tell her, but I stole my daughter's science project again to talk about the flow of blood through the heart. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the heart here and we have the deoxygenated track here. So what happens is that I'm going to, I'll try and get out of the way here. So I'm gonna flow this blood and you can see the blood moving through. First off, the right atrium itself is get collecting blood from the superior and inferior vena cavas that dump blood into the right atrium. It then moves to the right ventricle, which is going to contract and move blood through this pulmonary artery right here that's going to go to the lungs. So if I do this, you'll see it go to the lungs so that way it can get reoxygenated. That's the first part. Now once we get to the reoxygenated point where we get oxygen in it, it turns more of a red color and then it starts moving through the pulmonary veins back to this left atrium. And then it's going to continue to move through this left ventricle and then go to the aorta and then finally to the rest of the body. That is the flow of blood through the heart. We've helped over 30,000 paramedic and EMT students sail through school and crush their exam. Any subject you struggle with, we have a fun, visual, and engaging class to help you master it. If you're ready, start a three-day free trial right now and watch your school stress melt away.